Hi guys, Jackie Wolf here, and today we're going to be talking about some lore behind some battle mechs. Specifically, the Battle Axe, a mech that first appeared in 2459. This particular battle or this particular battle mech uh, is a very interesting design. It was designed for storming fortifications and for heavy fire support on the front line. It is, for all intents and purposes, a DACA mech. However, the original variant that appeared in 2459, also known as the Prototype, boasted a primitive engine, which was a fairly unruly beast and is about 20 times or 20 percent larger than the standard engine of its later full production variant. It is also about 25 percent less efficient. The Prototype model also boasted a pair of large lasers on the arms and a pair of machine guns with a half ton of inf er, ammunition dedicated to those machine guns. It also carried a single SRM-6 and a pair of LRM-5s. The revision for production, the variant number BKX-7X, boosted some great technological advancements, including a DAV standard 2, uh, 280 engine, which increased the speed from 54 kmh to 64 kmh. You know, a good boost to speed, you know? Uh, it also helped a lot with the stability of said platform as well as replacing the large lasers with Dolan PPC or particle projection cannons for those of you who are new to Battletech, as well as dropping the machine guns and giving a full ton of ammo to the uh, LRMs and SRMs. This particular weapons platform was okay, but with Project Wisp, they are Davion's decided that mobility might be an issue with this particular mech. And the WSP one had jump jet or had managed to ex mount experimental jump jets onto legs, thus causing them to mount jump jets onto the VKX 7X. This caused a lot of issues to the point that Davion decided that jump jet training would be a standard thing for mech pilots, resulting in a fairly high mortality rate. I have seen sources where it varies. The issues with the Battle X led to there being two production models. The second production model, the BKX 7NC, dropped the jump jets completely, adding two more LRM launchers in the chest, or on the east side of the torso, rather, depending on which book you read. And, yeah, it also gained the NC because the nickname was No Crash. Believe it or not, the mech had a lot of issues. To the point that it, I believe it only stood about 10 standard years on the battlefield and was later replaced with the Hammer Hands, a mech I will probably cover in the near future. The great things about this mech is it set up the design for what would later roll into the Warhammer, a very venerable mech. Most, if not all, battle axes were lost during an accident. There are were considered lost by an accident during the Second Secession War on Robinson. The battle axe will live on in legends and myths up until the revision that was launched in 3070 by Akinor Industries. It replaced a few things and made some updates, changing the frame to light ferrofibrous, adding case, mounting a light fusion engine, 
swapping the PPC for medium lasers and mounting three missile racks for new MML7s. The heat sinks were also upgraded to double heat sinks while the jump jets were retained. It the are uh, and adding a C3 slave unit. It's not a good Mac for its time period. It is actually quite antiquated. But you know, that's the thing. Now, some of those issues with the battle axe is the fact that it has the following quirk. It is very difficult to maintain. The parts for this machine often had to be milled as soon as it broke because of the test bed status. The other issue is a static ammo feed, which means if that feed is broke, you can't fire your weapons. It happens. The BKX-1 actually has even worse design quarks and the fact that it is hard to pilot. You see, cockpits weren't standardized during the prototyping of this particular model. It also gets the prototype, which means it is, or it is also a prototype, which means it is, you know, very likely to malfunction and poor performance due to the fact that it was not really designed for a combat role. That being said, I hope you enjoyed uh, my first foray into battle mech or battle mech lore, talking about these things. I am Ben Jackie Wolf. Uh, if you would like to see more, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. I'm planning on doing a few of these. Uh, I don't know the time period in which the next one will be done. But I, as I have said, have been Jackie Wolf uh, until next time. Bye.